Hello race fans and welcome to another race at the Thunderdome and today we got a good race starting off with that track starting up there in the upper left hand corner you see it going all the way around one big long lap with lots of different things going on it's not overly a technical race track there is a few corners in there but there are some really interesting things that have been tossed into the mix that will make it an interesting track yes we have some turrets out there. Yeah, there's some harpoons that's going to slow everybody down. Here's a start gate. That's where they're starting right next to the Rocketeer Thunderdome sign. Yeah, and here we go. There's the first stretch, and you see it turn number one. It's got a kind of a magnetic thing that's going on. Harpoons the cars. Doesn't do any damage, but it slows them down. And here we got harpoon number two in the second stretch of the track. And we got number three that's on the corner. So if you're trying to slow down to make the corner, you may have a problem because a harpoon may just get you. Because it will attack the first and closest car that is to it. It's kind of a fun little thing that's going to happen. There's turret number four going in the other corner. So if you slow down, you might just get hammered hard with that thing. All right, and we got, there's the pit areas with the food trucks. Stop in and get some food, and there we go. There's the fourth and fifth turret right there. And here we got the starting gate. We got there is Snake, Fliskin, and Wolf. Yes, they're all ready to rock and roll. Yes, it looks like another pull for the Snake team. And maybe this is their day to get a win in. We got Snake and Spider. Spider's a really technical driver, along with his whole crew. He's got himself another car. And there's Death Skull coming in with the only car in the track. So we got the Snake Team and the Spider Team. They both have themselves some new vehicles. And the flag is dropped, and they're off and running. It looks like it is, uh, looks like both of the Snake Teams are out front. It looks like he's a little sideways, or is he blocking the traffic? trying to let his teammate get out there in the front air and win this race doing some interference i think that's what his plan is and if those highway patrolmen out there they're really oh man they did a pit maneuver on wolf right there and he's heading towards the wall i don't know if he's gonna bounce off that thing or not but that's a pretty good driver i think he may get out of that unscathed Yep, there we go. And then looks like uh, Death Skull just piled drive right into the side of the Snake number two car. And I think that war buggy's not going to have a good day. It looks like he just got hammered a big old dent in the side of that thing. Yep, that's not good. The way to start with that ram on the front of that Death Skull car. And they'll care. It looks like the uh, another pit maneuver possibly being tried by the other highway patrol car those guys are really kind of pushing the issue there they're just pushing everybody out of the way and yes there is snake fliskin the lead driver number car number one flying by turret number one and he just got harpooned hard and it looks like he may slow down just a bit and his other car oh his other driver just lost control and ran right in the back of himself of his own teammate he's got a little too fast right there and hammered hard into him and it's getting uh having some problems right there and it looks like wolf still kind of unhangled untangled himself from that wall and there goes the two highway patrolmen side by side looks like they're talking to each other giving hand signals looks like they're ready to do some rocking and rolling together that team is going to be dangerous together and yes there it is he is driving right down the middle looks like he's got ramming speed he's gonna put another big dent inside of that car that death skull put in there he's just gonna continue the dance that's what it is and there's death skull sitting back there going oh man this is not really good and there's wolf well it looks like he's getting unhinged from that wall a little bit i think he may be getting ready to go someplace and then yes there's the big dent and there goes the looks like yep yeah the turret has picked up the snake number two car and the two highway patrolmen are pushing right on through it looks like they're ready to go catch up with snake number one yes that indeed it is it looks like he is caught up to him it's like he's gonna try and do another pit maneuver that those highway patrol with their pit maneuvers could be a major problem that might explain why they have those big giant uh, bumpers on the front 
And there goes Desco and Wolf still parked in the rear with the gear trying to untangle themselves and figure out what the heck's going on here after the Highway Patrol just messed up their day. Yep. And there, oh, looks like Snake. Yeah, he has a pro plan all along. He's throwing out minefields and looks like a napalm bombs all over the track. This could be a big problem. Yes, indeed it is. And oh, looks like Deskull and Wolf have finally untangled themselves. And yes, indeed, it looks like Snake number two car is kind of stuck there. And you got the Highway Trollman is, oh man, he got hammered hard by that harpoon gun. It looks like he's slowing him down and the other two are going to be catching up with them and passing them by really quick. That could be what's going on right there. It looks like that. Yep, it's we're trying to reel them in. And there you have to, you can see that the Highway Patrol, number two of the spider car, is, oh, he's looking right, he's heading right for the napalm. That could be a bad day for him. Is it dropping droplets of flame everywhere. Yeah, oh yeah, it looks like uh, Snake number two car, he backed himself off because he got brought to a complete stop and he backed up so he could get past that thing, get a running start past that turret. And it looks like, oh, he lost control a little bit again. And look at that snake. And it looks like Wolf and Deathskull are just like kind of hanging back. It's like, what are these guys doing? They're making life miserable for everybody right now. And looks like, oh, looks like, uh, looks like Spider got past that uh, first little bomb. Oh, no, he did hit the bombs. He hit that minefield and just blew himself it looks like his tires and everything body parts come flying everywhere off that car that look good for him and yes indeed it looks like a harpoon got a hold snake number two car and drug it back in that leaves an opening for wolf to go flying past him it's like he's got open air he's like, i'm gonna catch up with you guys and looks like desk going right around the uh, wolf right there he's like he sees some open air and he's gonna go right past those guys they don't want to be tangling with that turret at all that's probably why they're going on the outside right there. It's like, Saya, Sayonara, buddy. And there goes Snake dropping more bomblets off the side. And it looks, uh-oh, this could be bad. Uh, it looks like uh, Spider is lined up for those things. He's going to have to try to get past those things. It may be a bad day. Uh-oh, Wolf is going around, and he looks like he's going to hit that uh, napalm. If he can squeeze through there, he may be able to do it. I'm not sure he's going to do it or not. It's going to be a really tight squeeze. He might just hit that napalm. Oh, no. Looks like he, a bump and grind from Deskull sent the number two snake car right into the barricade right there and just dented the whole side of that car up. Yep, Deskull. Oh, the turret got a hold of snake number one car and just whipped that thing completely around and slammed it right inside of that turret he's locked there he's not going anywhere yep that could be a problem and yes indeed it looks like oh yeah he bounced off the barricade and he's head oh he could be heading for that napalm bomb he's kind of out of control right there for spider number two car following up by spider number one yeah that's not look good so far Oh no! Looks like oh he hit the nape oh he hit that bombs man those mines just obliterated the poor spider number one car it just rolling down the track and slammed into the side of where that guardrail is and it looking like here comes Deskull he's a, he just he, he may be say hey I'm gonna do a pit maneuver on you I'm gonna slam into the back you I got a ram on the front of this thing I don't care all right. Oh, yeah, he just pushed him right into the wall and going around him. He's like, yeah, payback's a biatch. That's the way it is. And there you can see Wolf flying down there, and he's going to, ooh, yeah, that could be bad. Looks like he may be heading for the that napalm bomb that's right there. But it's kind of nice that uh, Spider Number 1 just took out all of those bombs out of the road, kind of cleared her out. Oh, well, looks like, uh, yep, Snake is free from the turret, and he is now taken off. Looks like he got some free air. He's trying to get that thing up to speed. Hopefully that turret doesn't drag him back in there again. And they're, okay, right through it. Oh, he snuck right through, and looks like uh, Wolf is flying down 
And yeah, the turret kind of got a hold of him and yanked him over to the side, and, and he got slowed down, but I think he made it through that little area. There he comes. And yeah, it looks like. Uh, Oh yeah, it looks like Desco. Yeah, he got he's on fire. He's on fire. He, he went through that napalm and lit himself up. That's not looking good. And I can see the fire extinguishers going off on that thing, trying to turn, put out that flame. Oh, and looks like Spider number two has got himself figured out. He's coming back again. And it looks like Wolf is stuck on that uh, that poor harpoon. It's got a hold of magnetically harpooned him and just dragging him back. And here comes number two. He finally got himself unhinged from that first turret. It's like, welcome to the party, pal. Here he comes. He's flying up. He's got himself. He's got, oh, he just lost control and is spinning out. Looks like he's trying to do a donut in the middle of nowhere. Where, hey, he's all by himself. How can you lose control when you're by yourself there, snake? That's not good. All right. And here we go. Looks like snake number one. He's got the free air. And here comes Spider around the corner. And looks like, yeah, it looks like poor Deskull got snagged by that turret. And he got drug in. That's not doing him any good. Not at all. Oh, it looks like it, it is possible. I think uh, Wolf's got himself unhinged from that turret. And he's ripping through the gears. You see the tire smoke as he's fishtail and trying to break free of that thing. And I think he's going. He's going now. I think he got it going. Oh yeah, it looks like the turret drug in Deskull, and I, and it looks like uh, Wolf saying, "Thank you very much. I'm gonna fly by you guys, and I've had enough of these turrets. They're a pain in the behind." And there goes. Yep, looks like Snake's going around the first corner. Looks like he's slowing down a little bit. It could be a problem for him because that turret's lining up. I'm saying, "Come to me, Papa. I'm gonna drag you in and slow you down." Yep, it, it did get a hold of him and drug him right back in there, and he's locked and loaded in there. There goes Spider number two, and he's free. He's like, yeah, thanks, man. And there goes Wolf saying, thank you, man. And uh, it looks like, oh, no, looks like Deskull tried to break free, and he got spun completely around, and he's facing the wrong direction. You can see on the far back, once again, he got hung up on those turrets. Both of them did. Yep, there he is. You can see Snake number two car just sucked right back into the turret. He said, what, is, what am I doing wrong today? This thing just got a hold of me. I just can't get it. My car is too light. I can't break free of these things. I don't have enough horsepower. Oh, it looks like Snake number one did break through from that turret and is flying by. And then he just did a full broadside on the side of uh, Spider and said, this is getting too close to the end right here. We cannot allow you to get through this area I'm gonna broadside you and he did he did broadside him it looks like they did a smash and the side the other side of that car is all dented up and it's not looking good I think he might be out of control there's a lot of hope he may have lost both of them look like they're out of control and oh man looks like both of them lost control you can see spider tumbling down the road out front and it just looks like uh, snake just number one just Pile drive into the guardrail and just crushed his car. And there you go. You can see the smoke and debris. Uh, spider number two car rolled down. It looks like they may be trying to push that thing back over and get it back going. I think they may be trying to do that. But if they do, they're right next to that turret. And there's poor Deskull. He can't unhinge himself from that turret. Nor can Snake. They're both attached death the hip right now they're just not getting anywhere with those turrets they're just locking the load on them and there you go you can see snake number one car on its side smoking and burning and there goes power sliding around that corner in top gear here comes wolf he's got his eye on the rear and he looks like he may be trying to get around it looks like uh desk golf broke freeze and so did snake number two I think they're going to get away from these turrets now. Finally, looks like they're in top gear now. Power driving through this. All right, and oh man, he flipped the car back over and took off, and that turret got a hold of him and yanked him right back and dropped him down. Looks like he's just smoking hard. Looks like he's got that thing in gear, and he's just trying to rip away from that uh, turret. And here comes Wolf. 
all the way. He's in top gear. Looks like this could be a photo finish, folks. It could be. It's hard to say who's going to get it. And it looks like uh, Spider broke free of the turret. Oh, man, look at that. That is a spectacular almost photo finish in the last second. Wolf, who hadn't led at all throughout this entire race, wins by a neck. He just pulled that thing off. And here we go with the results. Wolf number one. Spider comes in and a hair behind him. Number three, Deskull. And Snake comes in there at the rear with the gear. And he had two cars on the track. And unfortunately, he blew that last one in that last corner when he just smashed into the side of Spider's car. And yes, it's going to be a real interesting. Here we got the season's points going on. We got Wolf with 58. We got Spider slightly behind him with 52. Snake down at 34. And Deskall's catching up on Snake for that third position. Depending how they end of the season. But that's the way it's going right now. And next week, yes, we're going out to the Dexter track. That's where we're going to be racing once again. And thank you folks for watching Gaslands TV. And we'll see you in the next one. All right, everybody. We'll see you later.